Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft room. Diane here. Just try to guess what my next journal is going to be. It's going to be difficult, but I know you can do it. That's right, strawberries. I pulled out all my strawberry stuff and I'm going to try to make a journal and we're going to try to make this one quick. No promises though. You know how I am. Fly by the seat of my pants. I start something and then I start something else. So, uh, But first I wanted to show you some of the stuff I gathered. I emptied out my, my folder here with all my strawberry stuff and then I went searching in my craft room for even more strawberry stuff and I have a big pile. So we're going to have a lot of fun things to work with and uh, I'm going to try to, uh, again, no promises, but I'm going to try to make this series be start to finish, kind of. I mean, I'm not going to do every moment of it on camera because I think you would probably be bored silly, but uh, <clears throat> I'll try to hit the big things and we'll see if we can get this done before summer's over. That's my goal. So it's always good to have a goal, right? All right, so I just wanted to show you what I have gathered for it. And uh, let me turn the camera off for a second to move some stuff out of the way because you can't really see when everything's all crumpled together. And uh, I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, welcome back. Here we go. Okay, so I've separated out the supplies. Uh, we're going to do the textiles first. I've got some cute ribbons that I found at Joann's. They were having a sale half off their, their summer, spring whatever they call that collection, place and time, I guess. Um, I found this cute little strawberry with the flowers, and then I'm really sincerely hoping those are strawberries. I don't think they're tomatoes. They look like strawberries to me. So that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> it's a strawberry. Uh, and then uh, these came from the Dollar Tree at different times. Uh, this one's Valentine's, but I have a pink, a blue, and a red gingham. Thinking like a berry baskets or something like that and the covers I have uh, a red and a blue so I'm not really sure which one I'm going to go with yet or or either one of them so uh, I thought I'd pull everything in and then I have this it looks it's a plaid or a gingham but it has the little fluffies on the outside if that has a, a specific name I don't know what it is but I thought it was cute uh, these were in my Christmas but I thought they would go well for the strawberry journals as well. So I've got the ribbon, and then I've got the two little sizes of Rick Rack in red and green. Then I went through my fabric stash, and I found this cutie. Now this is uh, all kinds of berries on it, but it also has strawberries. So we've got uh, berry fields, cherries, there's some strawberries here, raspberries. So just a repeating pattern, and it's really cute. We'll see. If I pull in the blues, that would be really cute with blueberries too. Just a couple splashes. Uh, and then this was a, um, what do they call that when they have five fat quarters together? I, the name escapes me, but it was at Joann's anyway. So these are all coordinated together to be, to look good. And then this one was on the top. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that the blue background and then there's this one with just the outline on the green background and then we have just the blossoms cute right on a nice pale blue this red pattern I don't know if that looks like strawberries to anybody but sure <laughs> and then I like this one because it has the yellow plaid on it I didn't find any yellow plaid ribbon yet in my stash that doesn't mean there isn't any but um, some of Kara's that I'm using has the yellow background too so I know that would look really cute and then we have this one with some baskets of strawberries some pints with some preserves and a cool old-fashioned scale it says something here too let's see if I can read it true friends will always preserve your heart oh how cute strawberry preserves that's adorable all right, so we're gonna fold that up. And then this all over print of strawberries, I love that. And this one was in the clearance bin while I was up at Joann's. So <clears throat> the trims and fabrics I'll be using for spine covering or reinforcement, possibly pockets, trims, ruffles, you name it. The sky's the limit. <laughs> 
We can do whatever we like, right? All right, so next I have the two book covers that I'm considering, or I may even go with a different one, I don't know. But I had this one, there were some German pages in there, so I don't know what that says. I hope it's not bad. But let's see how big these are. So this one is just under five by just over eight. And it's got a nice spine on it. It's pretty sturdy. It's a little like one and a half inch spine. And then the blue one, I love this, this shade of blue. It's really royal blue. Uh, let's see, this is almost five and a quarter by almost seven and three quarters. And it's a Reader's Digest. I could put fabric over this because I'm not crazy about the black, but it does have a really great spine on it too. So who knows? We might get two journals out of it. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew though. <laughs> I'm only promising one. <laughs> I found these envelopes in my stash too. They're not specifically strawberries. I mean, that you, maybe you could think those were strawberries, but they look like flowers to me. But I really like the colors and they were bright and pretty and there's a bee on there. So I thought, well, we'll throw them in the stash and see what happens. All right, and then I have stamps. I found these two little tiny stamps in a little cooking collection I have. So I have a little strawberry and a little piece of cake. Thought, you know, strawberry shortcake, that's cute. Um, some canning jars to go with the canning jar fabric. So we have a couple different sizes just in case whatever we need. I had them, so I pulled them out. And then I found this one little strawberry in this collection that came from Tuesday morning. One little strawberry. It's all the strawberry stamps I have. Crazy, right? All right. Even fewer are stickers. <laughs> I had one sheet of stickers. Uh, this came from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and it has two, two strawberries. And they're kind of uh, like a raised. You could feel the high points. The black is higher than the colors. So that was pretty cool. Those will be cute. And then I have a bunch of napkins. Uh, I'm part of a group where you can swap napkins. Um, it's on Facebook. It's called Crafty Napkin Swap and Share. And uh, I've been able to get a lot more variety of napkins. This one just has a little strawberry there, but it has the other berries too that would coordinate really well. So some are illustrations, some are pictures, but I just love them. Look at this one, this one's so pretty. Oh, just love it. Sometimes I get one or two. Sometimes I've gotten them from different people. Look at that cutie. Just trying to go through these a little quickly so we're not, so you don't have to watch this all day. <laughs> oh, look at this one. I love this one. Isn't that so sweet? They could almost be like postage stamps. Isn't that cute? Love it. So I've got lots of different styles to pick from. Obviously I can't use all these in one journal, but there's a lot of stuff to choose. So that is good. Choice gives you options. All right, so continuing on with the paper. Uh, I have this big calendar page. This calendar came from the Dollar Tree. I just tore this out. It was a 2021 calendar. Obviously that's going to have to go in here. It's really cute. And then Joann's, the week that I went, had their 12 by 12 papers for 20 cents a piece. So I got two of this little strawberry print and then two of the I don't know, still little but slightly larger strawberry print on a pretty teal color. Okay. Wait, let me put these on the floor. That's making a shadow. Then we have some more paper. Let's just scooch this over. Scooching. So I found this catalog on eBay. I purchased it and they sent me the envelope that the catalog originally came into. Look how old that is. And the catalog is from 1936. Look at those beautiful colors. 
I may just have to cheat a little and just make copies of this. I don't know if I can cut this up. Oh my goodness, look, it has the original order form in there too. That's awesome. Just look how beautiful those colors are. Look at that. Wow, 1936 and it still looks that gorgeous. It almost looks like the green is popping right off the page. I don't know if you guys are getting that, but like the strawberries are glossier and the green almost looks matte. Oh, so pretty. So yeah, I, I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. So pretty. Okay, and then one other vintage thing I found on eBay. It's this seed catalog from 1955. We've got some strawberries on the cover and then inside we have a big page. They're selling the, the seeds to grow your own strawberries. Look at that. Just gorgeous colors. Again, I don't know if I can cut this up or not. So there's a little little water damage on the corner, but that just makes it cooler in my eyes. I love it. All right, let's put these two to the side. I found some vintage wrapping paper in my stash that had some strawberries on it with some other fruits. Very cute. I don't know, I think that's 80s maybe? But I just like that the, the wrapping paper is thinner and it has a nice sound. Very crinkly. I love it. Oh, found two more. Two more napkins hiding out. So cute. I really love this one. Kind of looks like the barn wood. Okay, anyway, Diane, quicker. <laughs> uh, I've got some recipes here. This came out of the Moosewood Cookbook. Moosewood Cookbook. And uh, it has a lot of, looks like handwritten recipes and then illustrations too. So they're really cute. That berry sauce. Strawberry rhubarb crisp. Nice. And this came out of an older magazine. I think it was, I think it might have even been 50s. I was cutting up a magazine the other day from the 50s and it, it was difficult to do, but it was worth it. I got a lot of great stuff out of it. So I've got some strawberry recipes from that, some from a book, the different book, two, two notepads that I have that I just took a couple pages off and stuck in my strawberry folder because I thought, oh, it's cooking, it's kitchen, it's kind of cute, that'll go. A one French translation card. Lay dessert. I'm sure I said that wrong. Please don't. <laughs> I've never heard it pronounced, but I thought it was cute. It was the only thing that was vaguely strawberry out of there. So that's going in. Uh, I have some recipe cards, like one of the big boxes that the cards came in. So I pulled out some strawberry recipe cards, and we can either just tuck them into the journal or maybe put some tea dyed paper on the back or something to make journal cards out of. So lots to choose from there. Uh, these two came, I found a coloring book from the Dollar Tree and it has strawberries in it. I had bought two copies, so I tore both pages out of those. Then I have some stationery, mason jar on one side and then the other side is the red gingham. So that's really cute. This was the cover of a magazine at the grocery store, some health magazine or something, but I thought I could cut this bowl out. That might look cute on one of the covers or to make a tuck spot or something out of, but it's nice and big and, and sturdy already. Ah, this, uh, this ad came out of a 1950s, one of those, um, the knitting books, the smaller, crafting books with knitting. So I saw the strawberry ad, popped that in here. Another page from a book, a better strawberry. Different breeds around there. Picture of a strawberry shortcake. 
cut from a cookbook. And this one came from, I think, I think a magazine, maybe a thicker magazine. Just cut that out. Oh, this came from that same 50s magazine. I think it was a good housekeeping. Good housekeeping or Woman's Day. Anyway, one of those from the 50s. Then we've got this vintage ad. Look at all these little cute cutouts and tear outs from magazines. Whenever I found something, I just tossed it in the bucket. I do not remember where this came from, but I had printed a couple out and it's it's a circle and a half circle, and you're supposed to do it like this. Put the circle in a little half and then use these for little cards to tuck in there. So I thought that would be really cute in this journal. So I have it on, on cardstock and then on plain paper. And then I think this came out of a, a flyer or a magazine or something. And then this big one. I'm not sure where I got this big image from, but I had it in a small and a larger one, so I just fussy cut that out. Now these are from Dear Julie Julie. Um, last summer we did the Five Days of Summer with Kara Brandon and Dear Julie Julie. So these are some of the, the leftover cutouts that I had. So I tossed those in my strawberry bucket. And then these are Kara Brandon's the postcard and the the blue stripe tag. So there's a bunch of, of small pieces. I had printed the, the kits more than once, so there was lots and lots of pieces to use. As you can tell, they're repeating here, but a lot of good stuff for strawberry journals. And even smaller labels and such. Lots and lots of them. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure where this page come, came from. It was a seller on Etsy, but I don't remember the shop name. Um, <clears throat> my printer just decided to stop printing on me, so I only got one page out of the kit printed. So whenever I, I go back to reprint this, I'll find the name of the shop and put it in the description if I can remember that. And then these pages are where from Kara's part of the kit for the five days of summer. Look at that, it's so pretty. The blue stripe with the ads. Yum. Look at the newspaper with the strawberries. I love that too. And then this one has the watermelon. And this is, see the blue, or not blue, Diane, that's yellow. <laughs> the yellow gingham in the back. So I thought that would be really cute. Sure, we got some watermelons and some lemons in there too, but it's a lot of strawberries, so it will go well. And I love, love the way she collages. I mean, I don't mean to gush, but this is, this is what I like. I like nice, bright colors. It's, I don't know, something about it. Just beautiful. Love it. Now this page, I'm not sure where this came from. This might be from TLC Creates Vintage on Facebook, but don't quote me on that. I just, I like the strawberries on it, so we tossed it in. These, I know, are from there. Um, TLC Creates Vintage and Red Dot Books. So either way, um, Paulette Slater and uh, Zern Perry, or Perry Zern, uh, run a Facebook page and they they give away so many awesome images and that's where these came from uh, Just great ladies and then they also have shops where they sell kits and such with some of the images in them, so I'll link their Facebook down below too Let's see if I can't find the kit where that came from and then last but not least we have some kool-aid dyed doilies uh, these are just white doilies from the Dollar Tree that I Kool-Aid dyed with uh, fruit punch flavor, if anybody wants to know. And then these two little guys. So I think that's it. Uh, I'm going to try to have fun with this. I want to try to make this a, 
all the way through process video series, but you know how I am. We'll see how that goes. I can't make any promises. <laughs> Life happens, comes at you fast, so you gotta work with it. Um, I'm gonna definitely try to make one journal. I might make two. No promises. Like I said, no promises on that. But there is definitely enough stuff here. So I'm gonna go find more pages, ledger pages, music, things like that to go in with these. And uh, then I'll get started on choosing papers, cutting, and uh, I hope to bring you back for that process. Uh, I hope you'll be interested in watching this. And uh, I do appreciate all of you that watch my videos, like, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. It really, it does brighten my day to see that people like what I'm presenting. So uh, leave me a comment down below and uh, tell me what you think about the series and uh, I will catch you on the flip side. So uh, hopefully, I don't know when I'm going to release videos, like I said. Life comes at you fast. So um, just stick around and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.